what's poppin what's poppin guys we trying to get back to our regimen where we doing our real housewives of atlanta juge on mondays so you know because it's coming up soon guys it's coming up soon it's about to be on and popping but before we get into it hey guys hey this is nay follow me on ig periscope twitter spreaker and support me on Patreon at Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, let's talk about The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 11. Bullshit ticking, baby. Child, like sometimes I be mad that they be spilling all the tea because you know I told you all these damn bloggers including MTO including media takeout will call them up and be like hi uh MTO news this is Bravo Andy and um I just want to tell you something Candy and Nene was spitting a fight so uh yeah put that down and the specifics is this right so anyway let's get into this wedding right because you know Eva the diva got married recently and I'm saying to myself girl you know goddamn well you did it wrong a hundred times so this time you're gonna do it right and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get you old square dude from wherever he from I don't know where he from he might be from Atlanta and marry him and get it right oh my god that baby their baby is freaking beautiful one thing that Eva can do is make a pretty friggin' baby. You hear me? Now, I don't know why they got... What's her name? Is her name Marley? I don't like them locks in Marley's hair. I don't I don't like that. Some babies look really super duper cute with um, locks in their hair. But Marley, she don't need locks in her hair. Like, she, that little girl is so pretty that you could shave her hair down close and she'll still be beautiful. Like, you know, like a little boy cut or something like... Or like how you know how you do when the baby get ringworms and then you got to cut the baby head down like a boy you know how did that baby is that cute but them locks on that baby no ma'am no ham so anyway we know we had to she had the wedding at this place that uh where was it at it was somewhere down here in atlanta let me see child i'm driving down my parking lot anyway child i don't know what it's some kind of place down here in atlanta some kind of bougie place right and supposedly, you know, when the they published that the that Eve, Eva the Diva and her husband spent two hundred thousand dollars on the wedding, bullshit, bullshit. You know, goddamn well, Eva the Diva don't have two hundred dollars to be throwing away on no friggin' wedding. Bravo paid for it. So anyway, let's get to it. So you know, her and her dude been dating for about three years, right? And you know, they just had that pretty little baby. And um, they invited 235 of their closest friends and family members. And you know what I'd be like? Who in the fu- Who even know 235 people? You know what I'm saying? Like, what happens? Do you go to like your Facebook friends and be like, "Oh, I'm gonna pick two"? Like, that's that's too many. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. There's no way. And I know you like nay. Maybe you know the mama wanted to invite somebody. 235 people is too. That's that's not regular to me, you know. But I'm regular, and you know she above regular. So, well, I don't know about all that. But I'm regular as in an everyday chick. You'll catch down to the Kroger, you know. And we be, you know, I don't know picking out, you know, uh, petunias or potatoes together or something. But you know, even the well, I don't know because I be seeing. A lot of uh, celebrities around here where I live at. I told y'all that Missy Elliott, Lamborghini, that purple, see, but Lamborghini or Ferrari, something like that. I be seeing that thing all the time, you know, around here. But, um, so, uh, let's say this. What else happened? So, um, and let me tell you this little secret. This little thing that got leaked out somehow, right? That actually Nene and Candy got into a heated argument at Eva's wedding. And I said, what the hell they got to be arguing about? I mean, those two are the most paid hoes on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The only people that got to argue is people who, you know, mad about their money. Because when you got money, you ain't arguing about nothing. You know, you happy. I got money. I'm happy. You know, even though Candy don't get paid as much as Nene, it's still, Candy still got money. You know, so... At any rate, they didn't state what Candy and Nene got into it about, but this was before the wedding. 
Okay, this was a little altercation they had before the wedding. I don't know what happened. You know how it is. It's always going to unfold on camera because you know Bravo Andy will give you a little bit of tea, but he ain't going to give you all the tea because he wants you to tune in to the damn show to find out what happened. Child in season 11, I will be there because I'm going to expound on that later about the reason why I'm tying in. But y'all know it's got something to do with that damn Ronnie Devo. So, um... Eva's mother stepped in and raised her voice at the ladies and told the girls that they're trying to ruin Eva the Diva's wedding. Now, I don't know about y'all. Now, yes, that was wrong for them two ladies to, you know, get into that little argument. But, you know, them Real Housewives of Atlanta hussies, it's always on site. They never care about if you at a funeral. They don't care if you at a wedding, at a bar mitzvah, at a... Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. At a Kinsieta, they don't give two shits. It's always on site with them hoes. They don't give a frig where they are. Okay? So, you know, I'm not surprised that if they had a problem with each other, that Nene and Candy popped off at the wedding. Not a frig of surprise. Or anyway, even the diva's mother was like, you're trying to ruin my daughter's wedding, blah, blah, blah. Chow. Bang. Now, I dig that. I dig that she like, no, 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 no. This will not happen at my daughter's wedding. This is her day. This is her event. Bye, bye, bye. But what I can't tolerate is another woman raising her voice in my face. I don't give a... Don't... Hey, lady. Don't do that. We are not in sync. You are not my mama. We don't have any kinds of love connections. Lady, you will get it. I'll give it to Nene first and I'll give it to you, lady. Don't, don't, don't do that, but... They said that the two ladies separated. I don't know if Candy left because when they talked about the women that were in attendance at the wedding, they said that it was Nene, Portia, Cynthia, and Marlo. They didn't say that Candy was there. So maybe Candy and Nene, well, like I said, Candy and Nene got into it before the wedding. And Candy was like, you know, F this, I'm out. Because they were saying that Candy had, um, Candy actually jumped in nene face and was like oh what you gonna do and that's funny to me because candy is like what five feet and nene's like five ten so i'm like saying to myself like okay i'm a pretty tall woman you know what i'm saying but i know it takes extra effort for you to reach up you know and throw blows you know what i'm saying like she would literally have to jump up grab nene's um, one of her wigs, cause her if it's she, I don't I don't know if she has anything to grab. I really don't. But she would have to jump up, grab her head, and pull her down, and then hit her with the walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. That's the only way that I can see. Otherwise, Nene gonna be pounding her head. And I know you're like, Nay, why are you talking about fight methods? I don't know. I didn't have this Colombian cup of coffee that is like I don't know. Got me on ten thousand. So then, child, now we are gonna get to Portia Williams. Now let me tell you the key key about Portia Williams. Portia Williams, you know, she is pregnant by this dude, Dennis McKinley. Dennis McKinley! Ninja, you are the whole nigga of the universe. Listen, let me tell you something. The come up for ninjas now is to get hoes pregnant, okay? Now, they've been doing that shit in the hood a long time because what you would do in the hood is you would find your old girl with a good old section eight that was getting temporary cash assistance then that way you could live with her and pay her rent up for a whole year because you know her rent would be like twelve dollars a month and you would be like here boo here go your rent for the year and then you laid up you know with the girl you know having a good life and keeping all your money in your pocket because you didn't pay the rent up for the year right so anyway, it's coming out that Dennis McKinley, not it's coming out, but it came out that Dennis McKinley is actually a um, scammer, right? And what's funny is his claim to fame is hair extensions. And lo and behold, Portia Williams does hair extensions herself. That's part of her claim to fame, you know, Real Housewives of Atlanta, beating up a bitch or two, um, 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 what is that, Dish Network, and hair. Okay, so maybe that's how her and her dude got together. But Dennis had a relationship with a woman who um, I guess was his partner in his hair extension, you know, line or whatever. And the woman just took him to court for trademark infringement. Is that the right word? But anyway, he stole her trademark, right? Now, the daughter of the ex-girlfriend who he stole the trademark from went on 
um what is that instagram and uh went in on his ass talking about he's a whole thief and that the only reason why he wanted to um get with portia was because he wanted to be famous isn't that the isn't that the spill with all the ninjas on real housewives of atlanta i mean you should it's atlanta Okay, like the running joke now in Atlanta is that all the girls have scam. Uh, everybody got a scam. Everybody trying to scam somebody out of something. Everybody trying to come up. Everybody trying to get next to somebody who got something going on so they can claw their eyeballs out and take their place. That's the whole thing about Atlanta. Like I'm not, I don't believe that Portia is at all surprised about this at all. But the real trophy winner goes to Dennis McKinley for pumping that Porsche with that scammer juice and getting her pregnant. I said, go, 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 Dennis McKinley. You are the winner. So Portia Williams McKinley, you, my love, have found yourself a scammer. Maybe you are a scammer at heart. I don't know. But Shasta La Vista, I'm sure it will come out on bravo tv as it always does now let's move on to the part that i'm really interested about right so what's going on is that they're supposedly being um now i'm gonna say this came from mto so i'm gonna give it a little shaky shake you know because even though i said bravo andy do be calling media takeout you know sometimes media takeout be jumping out there with the bulls net ticking now but the only reason why i'm thinking this may be a little shaky because I've been following Ronnie Devo, you know, all of New Edition for a long time. I'm going to put my second channel in the uh, comments down there and pin it in the comments so y'all can see. But my second channel, child, I be talking about New Edition. I talk about New Edition and all that other stuff anyway. But um, Ronnie Devo and his wife have some kind of um, conference like every here and there where they promote merge and um maintaining a healthy marriage through um the church and through christianity so i gave them kudos to that and i said uh you know when you marry to a new addition especially ronnie devoe you gonna have to pray to the lord to help you to stay humble and maintain you know, a sense of security within yourself because, hey, girl, I would be on the road with that dag on Ronnie Devo every day. I wouldn't let that nigga out of my sight. You hear me? That dagger, she got the best one. You hear me? That Ronnie Devo is the best one. Okay? Because he still look good. Okay? But anyway, what MTO News is reporting is that what Ronnie and Shamari are doing is playing up drama in their relationship. And they're also saying that the two have gotten considerable um, camera time for this season, you know, and I'm sure people didn't initially expect that it would be that that would be the situation because she's new, you know, the new the new huzzies don't really be getting camera time like that but from what i understand those two are going to be getting a lot of camera time because of that situation where they playing up the um the um arguments in their relationship for um the show i don't know that's how that's going to work you know i i don't want to see my ronnie arguing with nobody you know, especially after they just had them two funny looking, beautiful twins. They the most cutest, funny looking as twins. Ronnie DeVoe is cute and funny looking. But I love, 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 love me some Shamari. Well, I hate the bitch because she married to Ronnie Devo. But I love her because she's taking care of Ronnie Devo. Okay? Any great guys, tell me what y'all think about this tea, you know, and make sure you subscribe to me so that we can have these little discussions. Hopefully what I want to do, guys, is go live every Monday around lunchtime so we can have our Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, tea, you know, talk together. But if I was all over, all over the place today, I'm sorry. Like I said, I just had some Colombian coffee chai. And that thing got me like bug eyes. Like, I'm telling you, I can lift up this whole goddamn car right there. That's how on fire I am. Everybody need to get the freak out of my way because I'm on the, on the, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.